How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to a very special video today and I didn't know I'll be making this video today neither did I want to make this video today because I just had my booster shot. I literally just came back and you know I really wanted to get this video out ASAP before more false rumors and allegations start to spread. Okay so yeah let us get started. First things first I got accused of hacking res in the past. Yes I admit that. I did hack res in the past. It was wrong of me to do that. I have since destroyed said res and uh, some of the res also cost DCs which means actual money. So yeah it's you guys can think of it how you want but take it as me trying to atone for my past mistakes by removing the res. It's not that I want to you know cover up getting uh, to prevent my ass from getting caught. If you want to think that then Fine, I, I cannot do anything to stop you, you know, you can believe what you want and uh, I believe it's completely fair if you choose not to believe me, that's alright. Okay, so yes, I did hack in, a, in the past, hack in res, okay, that is the only thing that's true in this entire document and the only thing that I am going to admit to, okay. Next up, uh, he deleted his res only after blood posted a comment revealing his cheating on his uh, blah 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 blah. Not before to make amends, then detail of the, Oh, by the way, detail of the comments that provided evidence of his cheating. No, I did not do that. Okay, I do not know why people think I did that. And this video is very wonky for some weird reason. Okay, so sometimes the comments get turned off automatically by YouTube. I do not know why that happens. I had to manually re-enable it back every single time. So yeah, I do not know what's wrong. Uh, sometimes the comments just get shut off and when someone points that out, I have to go back, look at the video and then manually turn it on again. I do not know why this is happening. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Okay, so there's no reason for me to switch off comments because just look at it. All of these are positive comments supporting me. Why the heck would I do that? And I did not delete any of the comments here, just so you guys know. And I want to be very clear about this because a lot of people have said that i deleting comments that goes against me no, that is absolutely not true. I have never deleted a single comment on this video. There is one comment that they keep pointing out, okay, uh, by this other person who said that uh, another person cheated in the community. So I can't remember who was the person who made this comment, but he said that uh, Santiago cheated. And then somebody went, and then the comment was gone after a few days. And somebody asked why I deleted the comment to my and. My response to that is I didn't delete the comment. I don't know if the original if the original poster deleted his own comment or if YouTube automatically deletes comments. YouTube does automatically de delete comments. So I just want to put it out there that I never deleted that comment. I have no idea what happened to, to it. It's either the original poster deleted it himself or YouTube took it down itself. Okay, I have nothing to do with it. Also, him pointing out that someone else was cheating, why the heck should I care? Why? It doesn't bother me that I need to delete it. Like you telling me that Santiago cheated, okay? So? So what? I don't care. <laughs> like I, I literally don't care. Why do I need to delete that comment? <laughs> okay? There's no need for me to delete that comment. And I just want to say that uh, my stance on this is, this is my official stance on it, okay? I don't care if you've cheated or not. Okay, I do not support cheating. Cheating is wrong, obviously, and I have made that mistake in the past. Yes, but trust me, many other people have made that mistake before, and you'll see later on why I titled my video this way. Okay, many other people have made that mistake before. So, yeah, cheating is wrong. I do not support it, but I don't care if you do it because this is a single player game. It does not harm anybody. If you do it, it's literally nobody's business. If you want to do it, I do not know why they give they spend so much of their free time trying to track down people who cheat or whatnot. Like they literally stalked me, stalked my character pages. Uh, it's ridiculous the amount of effort they go through just to try and find something to bring me down. Which is honestly very. I don't know if I should be honored or I should be <laughs> upset. Because imagine, instead of spending all this time doing something else, instead of spending all this time playing this game, you're spending all this time finding supposed evidence of me cheating the game and, you know, uh, trying so hard to nail me against the wall. Why? Why? Why have I done to you? I've done nothing to you. Literally nothing. I've done nothing to you. Why are you trying so hard? <laughs> it's like I live rent-free in your heads or something. Get a life, dude. Go and do something else. <laughs> Stop stalking me. Like, what the heck? 
Like, I'm surprised how much effort they took to do all this. Like, really, do you not have anything else better to do in your life? What have I done to you? I've literally said nothing to you. And yet you want to do this to me? Oh, it's incredible. Okay. So yeah, that's out of the way. And also, uh, in this video, I pretty much bashed the entire FN server. But ever since the video came out, okay, I've been doing my own observations. And from what I can see personally, okay, whenever I'm asked about FN after, after this video, uh, I always say that, yes, they have made mistakes in the past. Yes, they are blah, 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 this and that in the past. But I said that I've seen a lot of improvement throughout the years. And I think it's a good thing. I think it's not as bad as it used to be before. Does it mean it's perfect? No, I don't think any server is perfect out there. But yeah, a lot of improvements. Uh, and you know, I don't really think that counts as bad mouthing them. I said that they were bad in the past, but I said that they have done a lot of things to improve. So you can't really say that I am constantly bad mouthing or slandering the FN server because if you can search through all the messages, okay, uh, DMs obviously you, you can't search through for people who ask me through the DMs, but yeah, you can search through all the public messages. Whenever FN is brought up, I said that yes, they did a lot of mistakes in the past, but I've also added on that they have taken a lot of steps to improve and I think the server is in a okay place right now. It seems that however, I was proven wrong after this whole fiasco, so yeah, it, I guess you can say that a leopard never changes its spots and it's true for the FN server. Not saying that everyone in that server is a bad guy, but everyone who, most of the people who's active there, most of the people who are mods and admins there, yeah, they, they are not good people, okay? Alright, that's out of the way. Cheating DM evidence. Blah, blah, blah. He asked me why I got so many DMs and all that kind of stuff. And I just like to point out that I've always said, if you've been a long term subscriber of my videos, you will know. I've always said I love the Fires Over Oak Law minigame and it used to come with a Defender's Medal every. It's a 100% drop every single time you beat that quest. So, yeah. I used to play that game a lot in the past. I really liked it. Okay? So, that is my reasoning. And I've always been giving that reasoning whenever people ask. I. He, he even tried to bait me here. Nice try, Astro. Okay, uh, you are a good... <laughs> You're a good player, but I'm, I'm a better reader, okay? He tried to bait me here into making me uh, say things that are inconsistent with what I said before. No, no, no. I see through that, alright? I've always said it comes from Fires Over Oak Law and I maintain my statement. He tried to give me, he tried to come up with an explanation for me. Trying to play the good guy here, okay? Uh, but really, I, like, maybe it's just me overthinking this, but I think all he was trying to do was uh, try to get me to make an inconsistent statement and then, you know, he can use that against me as well. But, you know, I guess he used this against me too, so whatever, I don't really care. And he said that I was privating my old videos. And I just want to say this. It's my own channel. I don't need to justify to you why I want to private my own videos. In fact, I owe nobody an explanation for privating videos on my own channel, okay? In fact, it's not a uncommon thing to do. Many of the larger channels out there, they private a lot of their old videos too. Why? Probably because they weren't proud of the old content that they make because it was not up to standard, because it was not high quality. Same same can be said for me. Now that I've grown a bit bigger, I do think that some of my older videos, they are not really that up to standard. So yes, I did privatize some of them. But um, they are thinking a lot about why I'm privatizing this and thinking I'm trying to hide my save my own ass and all that. They're basically overthinking like, come on, do I really need to do that? I've already admitted that I did hack res in the past. So do I really need to private my old videos to save my own ass? No, you already have evidence of that, right? Of me admitting that I hacked my res in the past. Was there a need for me to private my videos just to s get rid of that piece of evidence? No, you don't You don't need that. I, I literally admitted it to you guys already, to other people already that I hacked in the res. And now you have this video as evidence as well. So do I need to private my old videos to get rid of that evidence? No, I don't. Okay, so yeah. As you guys can see from my channel, I have over a thousand videos, guys. Let that sink in. How many videos is that? Over a thousand videos. It's natural for you to miss out some videos, okay? I privated most of the videos even before my conversation with Astro. So Astro reached out to me on uh, 3rd January. I only replied on 4th January. 
okay so here was the start of him confronting me with this thing and then basically he uh, said he, he went on to talk about all of this and then he accused me of privatizing my videos I said that I was a bit surprised because I already privated my videos before he confronted me with this unfortunately try as I might uh, there is no record on YouTube like doesn't let you see when you privatize the videos uh, hopefully they come out with this feature soon. Uh, if you guys know a way to see when the video gets privated, please do let me know down in the comments below. I really would uh, like to see it so, you know, I can take that piece of evidence and slap them back in the face with it. I've already privated most of the old videos, even before Asho confronted me on 4th January. So, uh, he doesn't believe me, but, you know, that's on him. And if you don't believe me either, then whatever. There's nothing I can do about it, right? So, apparently, I did miss out some videos. When he pointed that out to me, I'm, I'm, I was a little bit surprised. I'm like, hey, I thought I privated everything. So I did miss out some, so I went back to check, and then as we were having this conversation, I was privating the rest of the videos that I had missed out on, okay? And I did tell him about it, straight up. My pre-2016 videos, I privated them a few weeks ago to about a month back. Now I'm going through some I missed. I intended to private them a while ago already, okay? And then he accuses me of lying to his face while trying to gaslight him. Excuse me, would I do, would I literally tell you what I am freaking doing? If I was trying to lie to your face or gaslight you, why tell you what I'm doing as I was doing it? No, right? That makes no sense whatsoever. I didn't have to admit this to you. I didn't have to tell you this. I wanted to be transparent. I'm like, okay, I missed out something. So now I, I'm going to go and private those videos right now. I told him that. He tells me, he says I'm lying and I'm gaslighting him. What the heck? Would I tell you that if I was trying to hide evidence, if I was trying to gaslight you, if I was trying to, you know lie to your face i wouldn't write i wouldn't even tell you that i'm doing that so i have no idea why the heck he thinks i'm doing such a thing like why do you paint me out to be such a person when i i'm clearly not it's just a very simple thing of privatizing privating your old videos and you know missing out some videos because i have so many to go through and by the way i do all this myself okay for the record uh research on videos Recording the videos, scripting the videos, editing the videos, making thumbnails, posting the videos, interacting on social on all the social media channels. I do all of this on my own without anybody's help. That is a lot to do for one person, considering this is not even my full-time job. Astro, on the other hand, well, he has the help of people in FN helping him to script his videos. He has the help of somebody to voice his videos and record his videos for him. So all he literally has to do is edit the videos and post them. Even his thumbnails, people make them for him. So, it's natural that he has so much extra time to dig up all of this crap that I don't because I'm doing everything on my own. No, nobody is helping me with all this, okay? So, yeah, it's natural that I miss some out. I am a one-man show. You cannot expect me to be perfect. You cannot expect me to be doing everything perfectly. I make mistakes. I am human too, okay? So, I missed out some. I went back and then I went to private them again. Okay, and he was unhappy about that. Next. Ramtara's war, okay. Uh, I got blah blah blah. So he was talking about my goal inconsistencies and how I was gaining so little goal only. Yeah, let me just point this out to you. Look at all of these videos. Free to play in series. In at the age of time series. Uh, free to play story bosses series. Dragon Fable guides so so many freaking videos and all of these cause go to make you see one attempt here one successful attempt here and you think who that's my first attempt i'm such a good player i did it on the first attempt and that was the only attempt i had wrong behind all of these videos what you guys do not see is the hundreds of attempts hundreds of hours put in and trying so many times to come up with the strategy to beat the fight you guys do not see that okay you guys don't see all of that some videos take hours of trying to make, days even, millions of goal. Okay, I don't know how much goal I've spent on the in challenges already. It's not just a challenge goal. There's also the point of buying stuff, equipment to try out. Okay, and then of course, if I don't want to use it, then I can just sell it back, right? And then I can buy it, buy it again if I need it. I've done that multiple times. I don't know why I need to explain that to you guys, but yeah, I've done that before and it's just how I like to play the game if you don't like it then too bad it is the way i play the game okay you can choose not to understand it but whatever that's how i play all right that's the explanation that i have for this so yeah 
all of this cost gold, cost a lot of hours to make, hundreds of tries. So it's natural that my gold went down. Okay, I don't really stream myself uh, doing the war. Had I known that this would be used against me, I most definitely would have streamed, but uh, I am still new to streaming. I do not know anything about streaming yet. I, there's still a lot of stuff for me to learn, and I don't really want to come up with a stream that is you know, of subpar quality. That's why I want to make sure that you know uh, the quality is at least decent, you know, I have alerts set up, I have, you know, messages and all that kind of stuff set up properly before I start the stream. And I've said multiple times on this channel that I want to start streaming, I just don't really have the time for it. Especially since I'm doing all this on my own and I'm churning out daily videos. So it's not that I don't want to help myself, it's that I don't have the time to do it, okay? Snow fight war, this one. Okay, uh, more allegations and my reasoning was that there is probably a uh, with the goal not going up is because one, like I've said before, I am still trying out all of these. I have not done all of the fights yet. That's why I'm still trying them. Okay, and I am not, you know, uh, I'm still constantly putting out guide videos. In fact, I just put one out this week. All of this costs money. Okay, uh, research and looking at other stuff. Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay, my other playlists, they are private. Never mind. Uh, so yeah. And on top of that, this uh, character page, how you guys are barking up the wrong tree. How am I supposed to know if there's a problem in the character pages? I don't check my character page when I'm doing the wall waves. I don't, because who the hell does that? Apparently some people do, and it's not even their own character pages. They stalk people's character pages. Very weird, very obsessive behavior, and yeah, I, I don't even know what, what I want to say about that. Okay, I don't know whether I should be honored or upset that People are taking this much time to stalk my character page. Okay, so uh, they've posted two screenshots here, one on 26 and one on 28. That's two days. And saying that I had no change in my inventory for two days. Let me just get this straight. You can do a lot in two days. Two days is 48 hours. I could buy the item, I could sell the item back. <laughs> it's so possible to do that within the span of two days. Do you have a record of my character page every single second? From those two days, you don't, right? So why are you saying that this is such a possibility for me to cheat? This is bullshit. Like, I can buy the item, I can sell the item, I can earn back the gold. It's so possible. Two days time to do all that. That's not hard. Not hard at all. And uh, I don't have evidence of this, but if you guys have, or if you managed to record it down, please do let me know down in the comments below. You guys will notice that... Uh, the wall wave counter, if I was trying to, you know, cheat or if I was cheating or whatever, the wall waves would have been very consistent and also the wall waves would have been ridiculously high. It is not. Astro has a co has a video up on his own channel showing how you can get up to four waves per minute through this snow gift wall. My waves per minute were about three waves per minute, which is very doable by the way, considering I have all of the best gear inside of the game. And on top of that, uh, my wall waves were not consistent at all. It was not 3 waves per minute for the entire day. And also, if you guys uh, actually bothered to look or check or there's any for you to find out, you will notice that I take a break. I take lunch breaks, I take toilet breaks, I take dinner breaks, and obviously I do not wall when I'm sleeping. So, I know this is not 100% evidence of me not cheating, but if I was really cheating, would I have needed to take those breaks? I could have just left the program on and went on to do my own things, right? That makes no sense whatsoever. So, all the allegations, yeah, it's just, uh, it, it's a matter of he say, she say now, like, they can't prove 100% that I wasn't cheating. I can't prove 100% that I'm not cheating either. This is my explanation for you guys. If you guys believe me, then okay. If you don't believe me, then uh, there's nothing I can do about it either, all right? So, yeah, why don't, character page, but why don't you ask the people making the character page at Arctic Entertainment? Or heck, it may not even be their fault. Ask the people at whatever web hosting server it is, Cloudflare or whatever. Why don't you ask them if there was a small problem or bug or glitch in your system at this exact point of time uh, for Dragon Faber character pages? Ask them about it. Why are you asking me about it? Like hell, I would know. I, I don't, I, I'm not in charge of managing this. I'm not in charge of upkeeping it and neither am I the one who created it. Do I know how this works? I don't. Is it really just a coincidence that it's a bug? Yes, it's very possible. But if you don't believe me, then okay, so be it. And they also went on to give something even more ridiculous here. He says that 
another person they caught with this method who admitted to cheating after being confronted. So just because someone does something doesn't mean I am doing the same thing. So if a murderer buys chicken rice and I happen to buy chicken rice too, does it mean I'm a murderer? No, right? It's so stupid. What what kind of like this doesn't make any explanation whatsoever. This, like this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Sorry. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Just because someone cheated, it means I cheated too. That's bullshit, right? Okay, and yeah, more stuff. Uh, so how this whole thing started was Moth, uh, the owner of the Dragon's Grass, started a contest of sorts, saying that he will award ten thousand ATs worth uh fifty dollars to whoever counter broke, uh, the first three people who counter broke inside of that server okay so i expressed interest that i wanted to take part and it's not like i need the ap's or that and you, you just think about it why why risk all of this for 50 dollars 10,000 ap's evidently he will risk jeopardizing what he has over 10,000 ap's who the hell believes that statement come on what i have is worth way more than 50 bucks guys some of my stuff are gifted yes but most of them are spent using my most of them are bought with my own money you guys know i am not a free to play player i consider myself a dolphin in ae games i spend so much on their games way more than 50 dollars so do i need the money no do i want the money yes it's free things who doesn't want that ask jeff bezos ask freaking bill gates ask elon musk they have tons of money why don't you ask them to stop earning money do they need the money obviously they don't need the money but why do they still continue to earn money just because you're rich doesn't mean that you don't want uh, more money. So it's free stuff and I have time during the holidays. So why are they questioning my intention here? You see where I'm going with this now? It makes zero sense whatsoever. And then here, this guy, another piece of real piece of work, Cosign. He, uh, this first screenshot was in FN. Okay, so he says, I. somebody asked why I was banned from this server. He said I was banned for being a cheater. Okay, fair enough. I did cheat res in the past. Then he goes on to say, I just come off as a giant prick. Bro, I have never interacted with this guy before, up until this point. I don't know who he is, and I don't know why he's attacking me like this. I never even said a single word to you, and I'm a giant prick? Really? And then he goes on to say, say this. Reminder, he bought a custom face in AQ, and it's literally a paid advertisement for his channel, which speaks volumes about him as a person. Excuse me, it's my money. I'll spend it however the fuck I want to. I have $200 to spend on a game. Why can't I spend it that way? Right. So if you guys know Cosign, okay, uh, from his interactions in the Gox Tavern, you'll know that he's a very, very cheap person. He doesn't want to spend money if he can help it. So yeah, he just comes up as a broke ass who is very, who happens to be very cheap skate as well. And what? So he's salty and angry that I have the ability to spend $200 on the game that he's playing and he isn't able to. What the heck? Like, come on, speaks volumes about me as a person. I'm just spending the my own money. What do you mean by speaks volumes about me as a person? Can't I spend my money that way if I want to? Is it a crime to, you know, spend my money that way? I don't think so, right? So this second screenshot uh, is from Gox Tavern because I tried to PM him about it, but he didn't have his DMs open. So then I went on to confront him in a server that we were both in. He didn't reply to me, so I said, I don't think I've interacted with you before, not sure what you're offended by, if you don't like my content, just don't watch it. True, right? I'm not shoving my content down his throat, I'm not PMing him, hey, go watch my videos. And I'm also not an FN promoting my content either, so if you don't like it, just don't watch it. You come and shit talk me in a place that I'm not in, so I can't even defend myself. And then, also, uh, at that same point of time, there was also this troll YouTube person who came to comment on one of my videos, very, very random comment. Uh, that came at about the same time. It's not 100% concrete evidence that it's him, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to find out that it's probably him. Okay, comment on my video. Uh, comment on my video regarding this kind of stupid things. Peak childishness. Okay, get a freaking life, dude. Like I've done nothing to you. Why do you hate me so much? Just mind your own business. Like I am not interfering with your life, so why are you interfering with mine? And I know that not everyone will like my content. That's completely fine. That's other people that you can watch but you want to try and bring me down when i've done nothing to you is so stupid okay let's talk about another piece of work here callum okay so this was back in fn 
Okay, no, uh, this one is a private server. So Callum give you some background on this guy. So this guy is a real piece of work. I'll tell you guys why. So he's a super toxic player. Okay, if you guys, uh, and he's not just toxic on Discord, he's toxic on the forums as well. If you guys had the uh, displeasure of interacting with him through the forums, you guys will know what I mean. And I believe some of my viewers do. Okay, super toxic guy. And back then when I was still in FN, I believe it was 20... Between 2016 to 2018, I cannot exactly remember what was the exact date. So back when I was there and I was, you know, still a very small YouTuber, less than 1,000 subs or barely over 1,000 subs, uh, he called me out for my videos and saying how they were not optimized, blah, blah, blah. But let me just get this straight. I have never once claimed that my videos were the best, that I'm the only person you should be watching and neither have I claimed that all my strategies were 100% optimized. I'm just another player, just like you and me. I make mistakes too. I am human too. Is it wrong to make a mistake on a video like just politely correct me about it and i'll be more than happy to change and pin a comment and update it and then give you credit for correcting me about it like even till today i still make mistakes and i think that's fine just correct me and you know i correct i correct it i credit you and then we can move on why is there so much hate for people who uh puts out something wrong i don't think anyone uh intention is to put out misinformation to people especially not in a freaking flash game like what do they stand to gain from that absolutely nothing like you guys paint the people who spread misinformation as this vile evil person who purposely wants to mislead others and then you nail them to the wall for it this is especially true in fn like they'll literally ban you for spreading misinformation this is so stupid like if somebody asks us for advice i'm pretty sure the first thing that comes to your mind is you want to help that person and give them advice right it's not to hey let's mislead this person by giving them false information no, nobody does that right maybe some people do some really evil people want to do that but what even then is the purpose what do you lose out on nothing <laughs> nothing it's a game you don't lose out on anything even if the information given to you is false so why do they make it such a big deal i don't understand why do they hate people so much for that why do they want to nail people to the wall so much for that does it matter and the answer is no okay so uh back then when he was shit talking me in that server the mods were around okay so i did uh the prop what was the proper thing i dm the mods that hey this guy is harassing me he's bullying me he's shit talking me can you like mute him or ask him to stop or whatever instead i got muted first and then they muted him why am i muted when i am not in the wrong please someone explain to me and he was the one who started all this shit with me, so why was he not outright muted? Why do you let him continue his shit? It's it's basic, it's common sense, right? He's harassing me, and he's the one who started all the drama, yet when I tell you about it, you proceed to mute me first. This is so double standards, because I know he's pally with the mods there in the past, I'm not so sure about it now, but yeah. Very blatant double standards. From that server as i pointed out time and again and it's so stupid and i will go through more about their double standards later okay so yeah this guy this is from a private server and this word document was not created by me it was given to me by someone else so thank you and shout out to the person who gave me this word document and i kept it for a very long time i didn't want to release it and i'll not release it uh you only see it in this video so if you guys want to read through every single thing you guys can pause the video and go and read through it so it's basically how this person along with a few other people uh, in their own private server, how they were being toxic, being racist, and doxing other people, okay? Tell me, how is being toxic, being racist, and being, and doxing other people not deserving of a ban? That should be an immediate ban. And how is that less serious than me cheating in a game Hacking in rest to my own account when I've harmed nobody. Okay? Their actions, they've chased people out of the server before. They've caused people to feel uncomfortable before through their actions. Is this more acceptable than me cheating in a game and harming nobody? Tell me, guys. Tell me. I think their, their priorities are wrong. Being racist, toxic, abusive, and doxing other people is fine, but uh, if you cheat in the game, no, 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 that's not fine, man. Straight up ban if you do that. This one, uh, that's okay. We can wait maybe one, two years later. Someone else complains. Okay, then we ban him. So Callum has been banned from FN, I think, or at least booted up or he left. I don't really know, but yeah, he's no longer there. But I can't believe it took the mods 
like freaking years to realize what kind of a shitty person he is and not do something about him earlier when i first complained to them that was when they should have taken action not years later after somebody has complained about them that's basically invalidating my feelings and you know not being very fair to me all right after this last allegation my 341 aargh street okay <sighs> Astro, you are known as one of the best in players in Dragon Fable. How do you not get this? Like, are you so freaking dumb that you cannot do this? It is so easy. I literally listed it out step by step. It works for me every time. If it didn't work for you, maybe my strategies are just more optimized than yours. Are you unhappy that I'm able to come up with a better strategy? Seriously, he casts suspicions on my freaking win streak just because someone uh, attempted was only able to do 100 and i did uh his record beat his record by over three times so just because i'm the first person to do it i <laughs> you, you accuse me of cheating <laughs> how ridiculous is that so just because no one else has done it before and i'm the first person to do it i am cheating wow it's really great to see <coughs> how much they've underestimated me Okay, and I said I died to Mega Fluffy Talk. Mega Fluffy Talk is a monster that uh, can only die to dot damage and he stops taking damage, uh, direct hit damage after you bring him down to like 75% or something like that. So yeah, the only way to kill him is through dot damage. I miscalculated and thought the dot would kill him the next turn. Unfortunately, it didn't and that's how he managed to kill me first. Okay, so I messed up. Otherwise, my run could have been a lot higher and... They think that I was lying about this, which is like, why would I want to lie about this? I have no reason to lie about this, right? He also says that it's suspicious that he brought Dragon Emerald Scythe for Elementals or Siofra when he has own Growth Tender, which specifically counters Siofra mechanics since 2020. It's how I like to play the game. Do I have to use all the best items to do something? Can't I use Dragon Emerald Scythe for Elementals if I want to? Why must I use Growth Tender? Why? Can I not use something else to beat the fight? So just because I'm not using the best equipment to beat the fight, I am cheating? What kind of nonsensical allegation is this? Okay, so this was the strategy I posted here. And let's go ahead and try it out to see if I'm really lying or not. Exalted Opotheosis, Slot, Vow Infused Special, Box Head, Wings of the Thousand Flames, Dragon Necklace, Dragon Belt, Death Knight Ring, EUD, Legion Bracer, Redfruit Seaweed, Baby Dragon, 199 Protection, 200 Fighting, 200 Assistance, 1 Mischief, Element doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and try out <coughs> to see if this works. He claims it doesn't work. It has worked for me always. Okay. So first starting off, you want to align it to Evo. Okay, so I want to do Weaken first. Then I want to do Fury. Next up, I eat CV. Afterwards, I do I switch to good. Then I do corrupt. Lash. Do will. Scout. Spikes Heal Ritual Attack Favor Attack Blast Boost Gear Swap to Offense Yuragiri You can slot this or you can choose to slot uh, 
the lucky hammer, it doesn't really matter. Okay, distorted doom visage, chaos weaver's cloak, shattered amulet, major's challenger belt, so far ring blue, and then we eat red fruit. Okay, and then to finish it off, do inner darkness. And then you do outreach with baby dragon. It works! It freaking works! Why the hell are you telling me it doesn't work? It has worked for me every single time. Maybe you're just unlucky. Yeah, maybe you're just very unlucky and it didn't work for you. It works for me every time. So come on, Astro, I expect a lot more out of you. This is literally the strategy down to the equipment. Every single thing I listed out for you, it works for me. And I showcased it to you guys. It doesn't work for you, too bad. What does this prove? <laughs> that I'm a better player? They don't know how to play the game? Come on. Like, I can't believe I'm getting caught up for this. This is so stupid. Any one of you guys can go ahead and try and attempt this. I would say it's pretty consistent. Like, I haven't failed before in 300 overruns. Maybe if you fail, then you're just getting unlucky. I don't really know. But yeah. Why, why is this? Why are people casting doubt on this just because I did it first and no one else has done it before? Uh, about this being the exact same term by turn used by Solar Sentinel in his V2 Sepulcher video, I just want to point this out there that I didn't watch Solar's uh, video on that, okay, and I had no idea of this strategy existing. I literally, the only video I referenced was TFS's video. He was also the first one to put out a video of Doom Knight beating Sepulcher. So for a very long time, that was the only video I've seen of Doom Knight beating Sepulcher, and that was the video I referenced too, okay. So last one, I haven't seen the video. Whether or not you believe me, that's completely up to you. There's no way I can prove that. Okay, so yeah, he says that you die one turn before the red fruit favor, you know, you, so even before this, you die here. How? Go back and watch the video. You don't die there. You don't. I didn't in all my attempts. Okay. <sighs> I wouldn't fault for someone for believing this run for was legit. And uh, similarly, I also don't fault someone for believing Astro because he is known as the guy who uh, is really good at the inn, but this just goes to show that he's really not that good at the inn at all because I managed to do something that he wasn't able to using the exact same strategy I, that I said here. Nothing changed. You guys can go ahead and read this, okay? Try it out. Let me know, okay? Uh, out of 10 tries, how many times do you succeed? How many times do you fail, okay? Oh, okay, so that's all the allegations addressed. Now for the juicier parts of the video. Okay, talking about how Astro Codex is a fucking hypocrite piece of shit. Alright. Let me bring my attention to you uh, for these screenshots, okay? Hold on, let me just... Close this off first. Screenshots, okay. First thing here. Yeah, DM gear is... DM gear really sucks. I had to automate the Ramta last war to get a full set. It's just simply not a reasonable goal. Whoo! Is that admission of yourself cheating? Astro Codex? The freaking... The, the champion for non-cheating inside of this game. The guy who goes out of his way to accuse other people of cheating. The mod in the server that bans people from cheating. What's going on here? What is going on here? Wait, there's more. Oh yeah, I mean, it's really not hard to just get it with a trainer, like I did for antithesis. It's ethical if it's for a guide, right? <laughs> not hard to get it with a trainer. Yeah, of course, it's not hard to get it with a trainer at all, like you did for antithesis. Oh, so admitting that he also hacked in items. But uh, it's okay, guys. It's okay if it's for a guy. You know, he's helping the community. It's okay. Hello? Hello? My guides have way more views than yours. And I make way more guides than you. So if you think it's okay, it's ethical, if it's for a guy, then by your logic, it should be uh, very ethical for me to do it too, right? I mean, I do it for the guides too. Guys, it's ethical if it's for the guide. Look at the hypocrisy here. 
He accuses me of cheating. He bans people for cheating. He literally tells me that he has reported people for cheating before I have gotten them banned, but he himself does it. And he tries to act like a saint here. What gives? Last but not least, Koriban really upsets me. Sure, he plays better, but like even when I ape him exactly, he still ends up stealing my audience regardless. Uh, what can I do about that? Work harder on your videos? I didn't get to where I get today overnight. Like, I didn't get 2,000 over subscribers with over close to 800,000 views overnight. I grew this channel. I had this channel for like, I've been doing DF and AQ content for six to seven years. That's how long it took me to get here, guys. And that is very slow <laughs> progress if you ask me. Have you been here for six to seven years? No, you want to get on my level just with a few videos being here for like what? Less than two years? It doesn't work that way. This, this isn't a popular game that blows up. This is a very old game. If you want the views, if you want the subscribers, then you gotta work for it, man. Like, everything that I have today is through my own hard work. Like, my YouTube is all through my own hard work. I do not buy subscribers, I do not buy likes, or any of that sort of thing. Okay, so how can you accuse me of stealing your audience? Come up with better content then. Or maybe people just prefer me more. Even more recently, I also caught him saying that he wanted to do videos of him going through the design notes which is literally what I do and literally the only person who does that is me right now. TR, uh, the Ruin Shadow does videos on weekly releases too but he only, he doesn't go through the design notes. All he does is uh, play through, is just a uh, play through with music and no commentary. So I'm the only one doing Dragon Fable commentary videos. So is this him admitting that he wants to steal my video ideas because I am getting more views out of them? Wow, that's very scummy of you. And it's so funny because he's got the entire community wrapped around his thumb and basically dick riding him, thinking, uh, people thinking that he's this great person, incorruptible saint that doesn't cheat, champions anti-cheating, and you know, puts out these great videos. But no, 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 that's what he wants you to think. Okay, so please, Astro Codex, please explain this to me. What is all this? Are these screenshots fake? Are these DMs faked by someone? Can you let me know? If it's fake, okay, I apologize. Then I guess you're clear of cheating if these screenshots are fake. But if they are real, what do you have to say to them? Hmm? And this is very recent. It's not like it's, he cheated years ago and he stopped doing it now. 2021, look at this. Like I did for Antithesis, this was just last year. Remtala's War was also just last year when he was uh, a mod in the server, going around, reporting people for cheating, championing his anti-cheating, whatever nonsense bullshit. So yeah, you can't come here and tell me and accuse me of cheating, saying I'm a bad person, I'm a liar and a fraud, when you do the exact same thing and you are being a fucking hypocrite over here, okay? And he says here, it might be time to do something about him, LOL. So he basically conspired to do all these things to bring me down. Because he's jealous of my YouTube success. You guys know me, okay? I've said this to him, I've said this to many people before. I don't mind friendly competition. In fact, I want more people to make videos on the games that I play because I think any sort of uh, publicity is good for the game. I want to see the game continue to grow, continue to progress. And, you know, I want to see the game flourish. I don't want the game to die, okay? And that is why I welcome content creators. Him, on the other hand, no, that is not the case. Someone is doing better than him. He's jealous of my success. He wants to get rid of me through these kind of scummy means, okay? Try to bring me down, tarnish my reputation. In fact, I've already lost like close to 20 subscribers since morning. And uh, it's what because of his bullshit claims and all this hypocrisy coming from him. So really guys, uh, this is what I have to say for the whole matter. Okay, it's a matter of he says, she says, you guys can believe whoever you want. I know two wrongs don't make a right. He has made mistakes. I've made mistakes. Cheating is bad. It's wrong. You shouldn't, you guys shouldn't do it. Okay, make no mistake here. Cheating is wrong. Uh, I do not think you should do it. However, if you want to do it, I cannot do anything to stop you. Neither will I go out of my way to report you, to stop you or all that kind of stuff. Because I think it's pointless in a single player game like this. So please. 
Astro Codex, tell me, what's up with these three screenshots here? You always tell people not to cheat. You tell people that you don't cheat. You ban people for cheating. What about all these? You cheat yourself. Hmm? On top of that, one last piece of information. Look at all these numbers here. Any of them. Any of them. All of this. Okay. How the hell do you get this information? May I ask? How the hell do you get all this information? Okay, this is public knowledge. 100% damage. How do you, where do you get that information from? Can you tell me? How do you get that information? It's not like AQ where the devs post out... Um, it's not like AQ where the devs post uh, info subs with all the numbers and the mathematical formula. They don't. Where do you get all these numbers from? This? This? Where do all these numbers come from? Hmm? You decompile the game to get all these numbers. You decompile the game to get all these numbers. I'm pretty sure that's against TOS. And it's not just as sure. All of the people over at FN who is running or contributing to this wiki, they have decompiled the game. I don't know who it is who does it, but they have done it before. How do you get all these numbers? How do you get how much bonus the enemies' uh, hits have? You literally don't know how much bonus you have. They have, okay? You don't know what is the exact percentage of damage that they do since the damage is a range, right? So where do you get all these numbers from? 20x? X is the number of times this attack has been used. All of this? Where do you get it from? Okay? Tell me. Do you decompile the game to get it? 50 bonus. Where does this number come from? It doesn't tell you anywhere that his attacks get 50 bonus. How do you come up with this number? Do you have a private chat with the devs? And they tell you every single number and statistic that you need to know so you can update the wiki? If that's the case, why is it on the wiki, not on the official forums instead? Why do they go out of their way to give you guys this information but not post it on their official forums but instead uh, give it to you so you can post it on this third party endgame wiki instead? So yeah, the people over at FN, they are not saints. They are fucking hypocrites. They break TOS themselves. They are cheaters and themselves. And I dare to bet, more than 50% of FN are closet cheaters. Okay, whether they admit it or not, pretty sure they've cheated in one form or another. Okay? So yeah, don't come out. When your mods do this sort of thing that breaks TOS, that cheats, you can't come and tell me and take the moral high ground and say, I shouldn't be doing these sort of things. When you do these sort of things yourself, okay? Conclusion. Let's see what he concludes about me. By the way, taking all of my video content here without my permission. Do I want to copyright strike it? Nah, uh, I'm thinking. I'm really considering it. Maybe I should. Is it fair use? I guess it can be argued. Uh, I guess we'll only know if I really submit the copyright strike thing. I'm still debating if I should do that. I probably shouldn't because otherwise people might accuse me of trying to hide evidence again. But yeah, none of my permission was taken to get all of this. They, none of the people who leaked our private convos with him uh, seek permission from me either. So yeah, the Korriban hacked to acquire rare gear. Yes, okay, that's fair. I did. But that's the only thing that's true. Next up. The Korriban cheat in the recent 2021 Frost World War with the intent of fraudulently winning $50 worth of AP. No, I did not. You don't believe it? That's your problem, okay? Do I need the $50? No, I don't. Do I want the $50? Yes, I do, okay? Free money? Who doesn't want it? Yes. Do I think that Korriban hacked in his DM gear? Yes, probably. <laughs> Again? No? Alright, let's see what else you have to say. What other stupid conclusions you have against me. By the way, I watched through the whole video already. So, uh, did Korriban cheat to counterbreak in the 2019 Frostvale War? No, I didn't. Again, you're more likely than not. <laughs> wow, okay. Should Korriban be allowed to participate in any contest for AP, zero points, or other paid prizes? I would strongly recommend against it. Should Astro be allowed to participate in future contests? 
I would strongly recommend against it either. In fact, I recommend uh, my my strongly recommend is uh, more than his strongly recommend because you know he's he's trying to hide that he's cheating. Okay, just because you do a better job of hiding doesn't mean you don't cheat. Okay, you got caught here, so what do you have to say to all of this? You cheat too. I think you should be banned from future contests as well. Fair, right? Don't want any double standards here. Next up. Why have no other community members publicized this evidence until now? Uh, because it literally doesn't affect them. And why have I not publicized any of this as well? You could ask me the same thing. Why didn't I publicize this? Okay, this, I only just learned about it today. So, fair enough. Okay, this, I learned about it a long, long time ago. In fact, it was one, if not two years ago. Why did I not publicize it? Because I didn't want to start drama. I'm like, okay, let's just put all this behind me. You know, I think FN is on the right track. So, that's fine. It's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. As long as people don't go out of their way to attack me, then, yeah, no, I'm just going to close one eye. I don't really care about this anymore since Callum isn't harassing me anymore. I could just let it rest, but they thought otherwise. So, yeah. And you can see here, this really shows how hard he is trying to bring me down. At the end here, he goes on to say that uh, you guys uh, should, you know, stop supporting me because I do all these sort of things, but then maybe you guys should stop supporting him too because he too does all these sort of things and he tries to be a hypocrite about it which is even worse okay i've never tried to be a hypocrite about these sort of things I already said my stance is if you cheat i don't care okay and it's not because i cheat too but it genuinely doesn't affect me i don't see why i should give a shit about it as for him he goes out of his way to ban people to report people for cheating even make a freaking dedicated video uh on people cheating okay just to bring me down so that he can get more subscribers than me just so he wants to steal my audience steal my video ideas get me out of the game so he can be the only DF tuber around and everyone will go and watch him instead of watching me so yeah Astro Codex you are not the saint that everyone thinks you are okay so with this I end off my video I uh, a lot of, a lot of this is a matter of he say you say she says Okay, there's no hard and fast concrete evidence of uh, me cheating, of him cheating. Okay, all these are just allegations. Alright, and you guys can make up your own judgment in your own head. Whether you believe me or not, or you believe him, I cannot control you guys. But just let that sing in. This guy is a fucking hypocrite. Okay, and don't believe everything you see on the internet. Just because he's a more well-known member of the community doesn't mean he doesn't do shady things behind your back. Okay, just because people in the community dislike me doesn't mean that I am a freaking evil person going out of my way to lie to you guys and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so yeah, uh, till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.